What's up, what's going on guys? Captain Monk here, bringing you the gameplay commentary. Today I was playing a little bit of Villa with the AK-74U grip. Usually I recommend dual mag, but I was trying to grip out because, well, lots of people like to use it, so I thought, hey, why well, don't give it a try? If everyone's using it, it can't be that bad. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that bad, but I don't feel it's necessary. Using dual mag is a way better way to go. Or even rapid fire with scavengers so you run out of ammo. But anyways guys, my, my setup here today, I've already mentioned the grip with the 74U, golden of course. But I was using flak jacket, sleight of hand, marathon, pretty set, standard setup for rushing. Instead of lightweight, I didn't, I used flak jacket because I just hate the explosives and plus 0.7 mobility isn't really worth it for me. But anyways guys, I don't really want to talk about the gameplay much because I'm pretty sure everyone in the mother knows how to use the 74U. It's the easiest gun in the game to use besides the FAMAS. The FAMAS is only easier because it's better at more range, at um, more situations. But I've said this before so I'm not going to say it again. Anyways guys, what I want to talk about today guys is... um. Today, my school basically went on a field trip, and, well, I thought I'd tell you guys about it, because it was a pretty funny field trip. We went to, um, a botanical garden, and I don't really know what botanical means, don't ask me, because I don't know what it means. And, to be perfectly honest, I don't really care what it means. The point is, is we went to a garden of some sort, and I basically went there thinking, okay, they're going to have a variety of different plants and stuff, and it's going to be sort of cool, not really. We're kind of studying, um, biomes and stuff in science right now. So I don't know why we um, went to a garden, but anyways, we get there and basically we got split into different groups. I got put into a group with lots of my friends, which was good. And our tour guide is basically like, okay, our first area here is the Asian area. We have lots of Asian trees here. And then starts blabbing away about a bunch of stuff about Asian trees. I didn't really listen that much. Then we should, then we move on and go to this garden area. And he's like, okay, here we have our Asian garden. And I was like, oh god, more Asian stuff. You know, I'm nothing against Asian stuff, but you know, I want to see some like African trees and something really cool. But no, I get some more Asian trees that really weren't that fascinating. Again, I have nothing wrong with Asian people, but Asian trees are boring. And if that's if you feel offense to that, I'm sorry. But you're very oversensitive. Now I do have a chopper gun right here, guys, but I did fast forward it because there's two of them, and I'm not playing music over both of them. But back to the botanical gardens. So then we continue just walking around, and then she comes up and she's like, "Okay, um." Looks like we've returned to the Asian trees area. And I was like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. This woman was nuts, guys. All she did was talk about Asian trees and stuff. I don't know. But then finally we get to this really cool area where we were basically elevated above trees. Like, there was like a little bit of a platform from one tree to the next. And then every platform got higher and higher and higher. I'm not sure what the highest feet, um, highest, uh, feet, what does that make sense? But uh, the highest elevation we were, but it was pretty high. It was, I think we did manage to get about 50 feet off the ground. It was really cool. I really enjoyed that part. But the thing that made me enjoy it the most was, um, there was one girl in my group, and her, I'm not saying her name, but she basically had a fear of heights, so you can assume what was, she was happening here. She was there, oh my god, don't touch me, I'm scared, oh my god. And basically, here's a little life lesson, guys. When you're scared of something, don't tell people. I mean, there's some things you can tell, like I'm scared of spiders, but someone's gonna find a way just to screw with you. For example, if you're scared of spiders, someone's gonna find a toy spider and put it in your bed sometime. It just happens. People like to screw with you. So don't tell people, because guess what happened here? These, basically, the platforms from one tree to the next were very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're very flexible, like they were really moving around a lot. So, the people in front and behind her would shake the thing and scare the crap out of her. And she was there panicking, all scared. It was really quite funny, actually. I got quite a laugh from that. It was it was a good time, I'm not going to lie. And she's just there screaming the entire time. But everyone's laughing at her. But I, I felt bad for her, but I couldn't help but laugh myself. It was so funny. But anyways, guys, back to the gameplay here. You see I picked up my Blackbird and my Chopper. I don't think I managed to get my dogs again, unfortunately, but these kids weren't very good. And right here, I see this guy around the corner, and instead of pre-firing anything like that, I knew he was throwing a grenade. I heard them throw, take up, um, make that sound with the grenade, so I decided just to slowly creep around the corner and make sure I get him. I know I had flak jackets, so I knew the grenade wouldn't be able to kill me unless it stuck me. And right here, look at these guys. This is why I don't camp in corners, guys. You'll notice there I planned the jammer. And although I am using flak jacket, the jammer is still a great piece of equipment. If you don't know, guys, what the jammer does is basically, if the enemy has any piece of equipment, if you plant a jammer and the jammer is placed, like there's a bit of a green circle around the the jammer on your mini map. If that green circle 
it, like inside of it, if there's any enemy equipment inside that circle, it stops working. And it makes it so that your claymores won't harm you, and tons of other equipment like that won't harm you. C4 is disabled. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the gameplay, give it a like. Enjoy the commentary, give it a favorite. And if you guys like the videos I'm bringing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.